MBA 633 Excel Tutorial 2 prepared by Professor Amit Tata, School of Management, George Mason University. In this tutorial, we will see how to prepare a pie chart using Excel. And we will continue with the uh, shoppers worksheet that we have been using for tutorial one. It's part of the worksheets that came with the data file in your textbook. And if you recall in tutorial one, we had a, we prepared a bar chart of the different types of browsers that were used by customers. That was essentially a pictorial representation of how many customers used each type of browser. And the basis for that was first counting. And here's the count table that we had prepared uh, for tutorial one. 27 um, customers used Internet Explorer, 16 used Firefox, and seven used other. Now, a pie chart graphically represents the proportion of the whole that is occupied or taken up by any one element. So it's particularly useful to represent things like budgets. For example, what proportion of your budget is, um, is defense outlays, or what proportion of your budget is labor costs, what proportion of your budget is administrative expenses. So when you want to get a visual representation of how different components make up a whole, a pie chart is pretty useful for doing that. But of course, you need um, the, the numbers in order to do that. So here, instead of representing as bar chart, these three numbers that we have, 27, 16, and 7, we will represent them as a pie chart. So I highlight those three numbers. I go to Insert, and then go to Pie. Uh, as with bar charts, you can see there are many different types of uh, pie charts. So um, I'll pick the three-dimensional pie chart uh, for no particular reason. And you can see the visual representation over here. Now, as with bar chart, this is the sort of the fundamental or bare bones uh, object uh, graphical representation of the numerical data that you saw. And you can see from the picture that whichever browser is the blue, is the highest proportion, and followed by the red, followed by the green. Now I'm going to move this chart to a, another sheet, a new worksheet, so I can play around with it there. Uh, just as with the bar chart, once you have your basic chart down, this is the important part, getting a correct uh, graphical version of the numbers, then you can make it look pretty. And if you remember, the general method is you right click on the object, and then uh, uh, use the options from the drop-down menu to make it look nice. So I'm going to click on Select Data. And uh, I'm going to pick the labels for the different slices of the pie. If you recall, it said slice number one, slice number two, and slice number three, which is not particularly descriptive. OK, so just as with the bar chart, Excel comes back and says, where do I find the labels for the three different slices of the pie? And obviously, I'm going to go back uh, to the uh, data file, I mean, data worksheet, and highlight these three names. Those are the names of the three labels. And you can see as soon as I do that, the labels show up on the chart. As with the bar chart, I can right click on the pies themselves, and I can add data labels. And as with the bar chart, I can use the layout tab to great effect to make the picture look all the more prettier and just, just change appearances. I can put a chart title. Let's say um, I'll just put in uh, a sample pie chart. So this is a, a title that you can put in. Uh, you can put in comment boxes. Uh, you can um, put in other annotations, things like that. So I encourage you to play around with the layout tabs and the right click option to see all the different ways in which you can make any uh, chart, whether it's a pie chart or a bar chart, look nice. So this is a pie chart, and it's particularly good at representing how different components make up a whole.